All right, so we're doing a brake job on the rear of a 2019 Sprinter uh, 2500. The parts I'm gonna be using right here for the pads. And this is gonna be your rotors. The P is for if you have a manual parking brake. If you have an automatic one, it's a different part number, so keep that in mind. Um, some of the tools, I'm not gonna go over jacking up the truck. You gotta figure that one out. Some of the tools we're gonna be using is gonna be an E8 Torx. We're gonna use some wire brushes. I got a hammer here. I got a 13 by 16 socket, half inch drive, breaker bar. Six millimeter Allen key is what's gonna take off the caliper and uh, power tools. If you don't have them, you don't need them. You can use hand tools, but I got them, so I'm using them. So let's go ahead and get this uh, wheel taken off. Here we are with the brake itself. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get our six millimeter. We're gonna pop off this cap here top cap pop off this bottom cap here and we will then get the six millimeter allens out so i personally like to put my breaker bar first and get them loose that one was a little tighter then i'm gonna do this bottom one here same thing after i break those loose All right, so to get these out, sometimes it's challenging. So what I like to do is put my bit in there and try to like angle it a little and pull out on the screw like that. So, so far six millimeters are out. Next, uh, I like to use my flathead to depress the piston a little bit like that, loosens this up. I do have the master cylinder cap off, a towel on top of it and around it because the fluid is gonna to wanna to go back to the master cylinder, so make sure you have that done. I'm gonna pull this guy off. There is no sensor on this side. That's gonna be the driver's side, but it would be mounted right here, and that is what you're gonna use the E8 Torx to remove. It makes it easier because the wire gets in your way, and the sensor that we'll use on that side is here, and that'll just plug into the sensor, and that clips into the pad. Um, what I'm going to be showing you is on this side today only so that side looks very similar though The sensor is going to be on this outside pad just so you're aware like I said it just Clips right in wire goes this way this piece is what will break when it touches the hot surface So it'll look like that on the driver's side One pad off <clears throat> I like to use my pad here, and then what I do is I get my clamp. There's other commercial devices available for this. This is just my way of doing it. All right, after I get that piston pushed all the way back in, nope, I'm gonna take that pad back out. Yes, now I'm gonna rest this here, trying not to stress this rubber cable. Um, you can use a wire brush in here if you'd like and you can clean up some of these surfaces if it's really gross. Uh, my particular one is a little, little filled with brake dust, so. You get the point, you can clean that up. Next, we're gonna take this thing off to get the disc off. So, first thing you wanna do, I'm gonna use a 13, 16 socket on this top one. Um, I like to tap it on, because there's some brake dust and uh, try to break this free. All right, after you break that one free, I'm gonna take off this guy. All right, let's go to the bottom one, 13 16 as well. A lot of brake dust. Tap it on, get the breaker in there. After you get this piece off, you can pop off all these old slide hardware. After you do that, wire brush these surfaces where the slide hardware went. You're gonna want them to look like that. Pretty clean, just knocking off any of the heavy brake dust. All right, next thing we're gonna do, since this is coming off, that's when we're gonna get ourselves 
this e, uh, T30 Torx, I would recommend getting it in, in there and making sure it's 100% in before you do anything. In my case, it came off pretty easy. Take a dead blow or a hammer. Tap left and right till that gets loose. Trash. All right, so next we're gonna clean up this surface so the next one goes on easy. Eye protection and a wire brush. After that surface is clean, we're gonna get our new rotor. I've already showed you the item number and we're gonna clean it with some brake cleaner and slide this guy on. We'll line up that little hole for our Torx there. Both sides with brake cleaner. Get that in. Make sure it's seated 100%. Another tap of the impact. Now I like to put my box underneath and catch any of my brake cleaner. All right, got a nice clean surface. We've already cleaned this piece. We're gonna get that now lined up with our new slides. So in our box full of toys we got, here's all our pieces. We're gonna get our slides. The way these are gonna go in is uh, the part that's totally open goes towards the inside where the brake pads would be. So outside has this little flange, inside doesn't. These will just clip on. If you line them up perfectly, they should clip right on. Boom, there's that. What I like to do next is put this on. Some people put their pads in. So I'm gonna line this up back here. I would not tighten them until both bolts are put in because if you tighten one, you won't be able to line up the other one. All right, I got that lined up. That's nice and tight. Like I said, you can't use an impact on the top because there's not enough room. So get this guy off. We're on here now. Now we're almost ready for pads. I got a little extra brake dust here. If you see that, I'm gonna get that off. All right, that's all done. I'm gonna hit it with a little bit more brake cleaner just to keep these pads 100% clean. In your box, you're gonna get some grease. The way I like to apply this is a little bit on each side of this surface that goes through the slides like that like i said this side there is no sensor it's only on the driver's side how i load them in i load in one side and i get the brake to go behind here like such and then should fall in my second pad grease All right, pads are in. Piston's already depressed on this guy. Make sure these slides move freely, which in my case, they do. Um, they're nice and clean. So I'm gonna go ahead and just load that back on. All right, when you load this on, this part's kind of tricky down here. This little rubber boot wants to move. So you wanna get it lined up and put in there. Get your bolt, slide it through, it'll straighten it out. Get your top bolt. Make sure these line up before you start putting any torque on them. So, start them out by hand, that one's good to go. This bottom one here is probably more difficult, but. All right, good to go. Bottom tight. Tight. 
Now we're just gonna finalize that with a hand wrench to make sure our torque feels reasonable. All right. Bottom one as well. Both are tight. Dust cap on the bottom. Dust cap on the top. Make sure it seats properly. This is the point where you'd probably tighten up that little cable that goes to right here. And you'd have your sensor wire at this point hanging out like this, which you would plug in right there. And that wire would connect. And that's the only difference between the passenger and driver. Uh, check your work, tight. Caliper's tight. This piece is tight on the top and bottom. So everything is tight. We'll go ahead and put our wheel back on and that's pretty much all it is to do the brakes.